For commercial jobs, the blueprint floor plan needs to be imported first for takeoff. From the takeoff tab, click on Import icon, select a plan file type. Floor Estimate Pro Commercial Edition supports PDF, CAD drawings, and standard image formats such as JPEG, TIFF files, etc. We will use PDF for plan import, for example. The commercial edition of the program has batch import feature, which allows to select multiple files and import them by batch. At file selection window, press the control key. Use left click to select files to import. With the professional edition, you can only import one file at a time. All planned files are shown in the preview window. Navigate them through the list on the right panel. If a single plan file contains multiple pages, each page is listed with page numbers in the preview panel on the right. Click on each page to see if it needs to be imported, and uncheck the box on the right if there is no need to import it. If all the pages being imported are of the same scale, select or enter scale from plan scale pull down list. Otherwise, each plan scale can be set up after import. Upon importing the program, add separate tabs for each plan page. Select on the tab to switch to different plan. Plan tabs can be dragged and located to reorder their sequence. After plans are imported, the next step is to verify that its scale setup is accurate if a scale factor is selected at importing. It needs to be done for each plan page tab to ensure correct setup. Click on the ruler icon, then pick one endpoint of a known size on the plan, and then move to the next endpoint. Check if the measurement reading matches that one on the plan. If the measurement reading does not match, plan scale needs to be reset. To set up scale after importing, click on set up scale icon. There are two options for scale setup. The, the other opinion is to pick up two points of a labeled size to set up the scale. The rule of thumb is to find the largest labeled size on the plan. The longer, the more accurate it is. Another tip for better accuracy is to zoom into selected size as close as possible on the screen while picking up its two endpoints. Again, always verify scale after either way of setting up the scale. The second option is to select Blueprint Scale, if you can read it from the plan image. The easier way to manipulate the plan image is to scroll mouse wheeler to zoom in and zoom out the plan. Press down and hold the wheeler to pan the plan around. One may also use zooming in icons to zoom in or zoom out. Use the pan icon to shift the plan around. If for any reason imported plan is shifted out of current screen, click on zoom to fit command to bring it back to its center. If an imported plan is not in its right orientation, right click and select unlock plan to rotate, delete or shift command. After unlock, right click again, 
Then rotate plan clockwise and counterclockwise. Commands are now enabled. Select one to rotate the plan until it is in the right orientation. When done, lock plan again so it will not be shifted unintentionally at a later stage. When there is a need to use one imported plan in several tabs for different takeoffs, it can be copied and pasted into other tabs. Right click, select copy, switch to another tab, right click and select paste. Click on the blue square on the right top corner to open the thumbnail navigation panel. Drag the blue view box to view details of plan and drawings. Scroll mouse wheeler to zoom in and zoom out while at this view. Once the plan drawings are imported and scaled properly, you are ready to move on to the next step, room area takeoff.